Okay, so yesterday in the IC short number 440, I told that if a patient is on invasive mechanical ventilation on control mode, and now if we have adjusted the ventilator setting, especially for PCO2, so we should wait at least 30 minutes for doing an ABG to see the effect of these ventilator changes. It, it will take a time, this much time to reach the equilibrium state. Now, one of the members asked a very interesting question that suppose this patient is on NIV, and now we have adjusted the ventilator settings from like uh, 12 is to 6 or uh, we have made it to 14 is to 8 or 16 is to 10 something like that whether the patient is on NIV or BiPAP mask so now how much time later we should do an ABG so understand that in the invasive mechanical ventilation what happens whatever the air the ventilator is pushing it is going directly to the patient the component of leak is minimal while on NIV mask or BiPAP mask there is a, some component of leak whether it's from vented mask or uh, from the sides of the uh, uh, seal which is there around the patient's face so on an iv the time to reach the equilibrium is a little longer so if you if the patient is on invasive mechanical ventilation we should do an abg after 30 minutes and if the patient is on an iv or bipap mask we should do an abg at least after 60 minutes which the general consensus or the majority of the guidelines some say after two hours but majority of them say that between one or two hours we should do so because the it will take time for re reaching the equilibrium because of that leak so on invasive mechanical ventilation after adjustment of settings 30 minutes later on NIV or BiPAP mask after adjustment of the ventilator settings 60 minutes later at least. So I hope this clarifies. Do read more about it.